Well, by 1969, the ultimate Nova or Chevy 2 had been built with the Yanko. 37 of these monsters, 427, were produced. Well, if that didn't fit your checkbook back then at over $5,000, it certainly doesn't fit it this year at over $300,000. But for the middle class, or slightly above middle class today, the L78 Nova is a great alternative. It was the highest horsepower available other than the Yanko in 1969. 375 horsepower, 420 foot-pounds of torque, all in a small package like this Nova. Quite the awesome car. Let's face it, the whole muscle car era is about stuffing a big motor into a little car. They took that to the extreme with this car here, 375 horsepower, 420 foot-pounds of torque with an M21. Now the car is a small car, but it's actually not quite as light as you'd expect it to be. It's a 3,500 pound car. What's also awkward about the car as far as handling goes is it's got a subframe in the front and the back half of the car is unibody, unlike a Chevelle which has a full frame. This is set up more like a Camaro. Now you can make them work, but what happens is you actually get twisting on the subframe with the body going the other way. So go around corners, You've got all that weight over top of a skinny set of 14-inch tires in the front, and this thing just doesn't go around corners. If you approach a corner with any sort of aggressiveness, you're going to feel the front end washing out, the tires are going to squeal. Well, on a day like today, it's not about how fast the car is, it's not about the performance, it's not about how the car looks, it's all about how the car makes you feel. And that's why this car today is worth $80,000. LS6s are $100,000, Yanko Novas are $300,000. That and the fact that this car is a ground up restored car. It's a black car, it's a double black car, super rare in those colors. It's an M21 car, it's a numbers match, original motor, original tranny, original rear end. It's also got GM of Canada documentation, which makes it especially rare in the sense that every option is documentable, including colors, where it got sold, and the, the performance options it came with. Now look at the restoration. There's nothing like a black car when it's sanded and polished to perfection. The car is perfectly straight. All the chrome's been done. It jumps out from a black car. All the stainless has been done. The interior, plain Jane interior, grocery getter style interior with vinyl seats. But all the seat covers are perfect, carpet's perfect, dash is perfect. All the gauges have been reworked. All the color on the gauges has been repainted. It's a beautiful restoration. If you look underneath this car, it's just as nice. The car's been sandblasted, painted underneath. The engine bay's all been detailed. It's one of the few super correct L78 Nova still in existence.